Hello friends, I'm Moom and today we're going to look into the new update of Kanoom, Kanoom 46, Kathmandu. And for those people who don't know, Kathmandu is the capital of Nepal. And besides that, I must say, Kanoom is a desktop environment reaching perfection, which you will know later in the video. So, let's get started. First, let me give you a summarized overview of what's new in GNU 46. There are two new apps which I'll talk about just in a minute and there are great search improvements and there are a lot of visual changes and some under the hood technical improvements which are finally here. And my opinion about GNU 46 in short is that I prefer GNU 46 over KD Plasma 6. And now let's dive deep into the updates, shall we? First of all, let's talk about the visual changes. At first, we have some new wallpapers. And I must say, these abstract wallpapers really look nice. And now the high contrast mode has been improved, along with the readability of time and date in the panel. And next, we have two new apps, starting with Prompt. Prompt is a terminal that marries the best of Gnome's builders, seamless container support and the robust VDE. I like to think of it as a companion terminal to the builder app, though it's also useful for immutable and container-oriented desktops like Fedora Silverblue or Project Bluefin, where containers are front-ended. And it's just beautiful and powerful too. Next, we have Bibliocat. It's an offline documentation application, providing a convenient way to go across the reference material of PDFs or any document without internet. And now there are some changes in the settings app. The privacy setting has been changed to privacy and security. And now it looks like this. Comparing it with the older one, I can say GNOME is making their systems more organized and accessible. And now some usability improvement. At first, the search feature in Nautilus the file manager allows you to search files across the system. And it is pretty damn fast. Obviously faster than Windows for sure. And this proves how well organized GNOME is. Or I should say how well organized the file system of Linux is. And the overall search is optimized for better performance. Well, it was fast enough already. And now it's even faster. Hmm. And finally, notifications are prettier and more informative now. And we get to see the name of application along with the time in header. Nice. And at last, technical improvement, starting with the performance boost in Mutter, which is a window manager of GNOME. Well, better than ever. And literally, the latency and response time in GNOME is now better than ever. And next, GNOME 46 manages your RAM even more efficiently giving you a great performance and usability which was already there in the previous release but this time it's even faster and next a new gdk renderer which really makes a huge difference in overall systems ui and applications based on gdk because now we get a better sharper and more refined rendering which improves readability of text and a nice polished look overall system and it's great and that's it yeah done well this was a nice update from gnome and we'll see this update on 20th march or you have already seen it depending on when you're watching this video and with that being said i hope you have enjoyed the video and subscribe for more awesome linux and open source content on this channel which is uploaded weekly and i'll meet you in the next video till then i'm home signing out